We have some breaking news, and the video is pretty dramatic right now. Live Copter 3 is over a car fire. This is along I-5 south of Meadowview on the northbound side. Let's head up to Dave Allen and Live Copter 3. That thing is fully engulfed. Yes, we got the reporter. This actually from the control tower asked us to check this out for them earlier. And this car fire looks like it's it's actually hooked up to a tow truck. And we did see an explosion from this just a little bit of a, a, ago. It is creating a looky loop backup southbound, and it is creating a complete backup in the northbound lanes, um, just out of Elk Grove and heading northbound on I-5. Back to you. So really quick, Dave, do you see any uh, like fire suppression equipment there or anything like that? I have not seen any fire equipment or CHP on the scene as of yet. It does look like there's a second tow truck staged a safe distance behind. I do see two other tow trucks that have pulled over. They're, you know, they have a tight knit group here, and they all help each other out whenever possible. So they've probably come up here to uh, help their friend out because uh, he's definitely in some some dire straits here, and it looks like it's entirely possible that his rig could go up with this car. Yeah, that's a very real possibility, Dave. And as we take a look at that fire, oh, and there's an explosion right there. Uh, all kinds of uh, material in those cars that, that are volatile and flammable. And toxic. And toxic. And you can see just how thick that black smoke is there as we watch that. Uh, the thing is just going. Um, how bad is the traffic backup right there? Can we get a look at that? Sure. I'll have Dommy pull the camera out and look. We're getting about, uh, about a three-quarter mile back up in the northbound lanes for I-5 coming out of Elk Grove at this time. If you know anybody, folks out there that are heading into town, you might want to have them take 99. I think this is going to stop traffic here for a while, and this backup is going to get real nasty in just short order. So, Dave, talk us through the timing again. Uh, at what point you said the control tower, they must have seen the smoke, uh, radioed you to say, can you just give us a look, see what's going on down there? What time was that? That was probably about 15 minutes ago, and we were actually by Cal Expo when they called us and said they had a report of smoke about three miles south of the field. And this is not uncommon. They'll call us a lot and, and report things for us. Can we check it out for them? Uh, uh, we do that for some of, some of the other agencies as well. And so, you know, they, they give us good leads a lot of times on some things that are going to happen out here so we can bring that to the viewers. And describe the, the, the initial explosion that you saw. Well, just like that one you just saw there, this, uh, as we just got here, the front of the car had a small explosion. You're starting to see more and more explosions, and that fully engulfed car looks now like it's starting to consume the tow truck as well. You can see the, the flames are lapping around the tires of the tow truck. Yeah. Absolutely. The, yeah. the tow truck has definitely caught fire. You can see it right in the back. You can see right the back right wheels, the back. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the gas uh, tank underneath the truck. And uh, yeah, the truck, the truck that was towing that car is now on fire with that car. And that is a big fire that is still just raging right there. And I guess I'm a little curious as to, you know, you talk about getting the call 15 minutes ago and still uh, no fire equipment there. And I'm sure traffic is, is a big issue there. But does that surprise you at all with something like this, Dave? It does surprise me. Usually uh, this time of day, uh, they're, they're very on such a such an event yeah. as this you know and I'm, I'm kind of stumbling on the words here because as you Dami let's zoom back in on that construction area right there it looks like there's some construction material on the other side that's catching fire as well you yes, see that does. fence right there just yeah. on the right side of the, the car that's yeah. starting to catch on as well so this is this is going to be a real nasty thing the smoke I'm flying at a thousand feet the smoke is is this high right now on this nice day and it is on the final approach right to SAC uh, executive airport well, we're going to stay with this for a second with you, Dave and uh, Dami. Thank you for getting those pictures. And you can just see the black smoke coming up. Of course, you can imagine people on I-5 North driving up thinking, what the heck is that? But uh, that, is a, that is a big fire there. Well, our newsroom has checked in with the fire department. They are certainly aware of this, and they're on their way, but they are having problems getting there for obvious yeah, reasons. Makes sense. The traffic affects the fire department along with everyone else. So uh, they're trying to reach that scene. And for, you know, there's definitely some urgency there, Dave, as you pointed out, the fire now spreading to the tow truck that was carrying the, the car that's now fully engulfed. And as you're going around, we can certainly see the, yeah, it's the, like fencing. Fencing. the fencing. Yeah, is. it's kind of up on the divider there. Have you been able to see what you think might be the tow truck driver? Is that person maybe hanging back with those other tow truck uh, operators, do you think? 
Yes, just to the left, Dami, I did see several several gentlemen standing there with the other tow trucks, and they're kind of blocking, so you go, so they have, as you can see, they're directing traffic, getting everything down to one lane, so we're getting, you know, a little bit of um, uh, ability for people to get around this. Now, I'm starting to look at the southbound backup, and this is probably what's impeding the firefighting equipment at this time. A lot of looky-loo traffic is, yeah. is heading southbound. Um, Meadowview uh, is... It's, it's backed up all the way there and somewhat back even to uh, looks like Warren maybe, uh, 43rd for sure. Yeah, it's just kind of getting all clogged up there. It makes it really hard for those emergency vehicles to get to that destination. You know, it, it, going back to the fire spreading, at least, you know, the, the nature of a freeway is basically a natural fire break. There's not going to be a lot of flammable material right. outside of what we're seeing just right there immediately at the scene. But boy, uh, now we're seeing it looks like smoke coming from a greater part of the tow truck itself. Oh, that yeah, it's, is starting to go up. It's the whole towing part of that truck, and it's starting to get closer and closer to the cab there. And uh, yeah, it looks like that truck is on its way to being. We a want total to be concerned loss. about this truck as well. As you can see, the firefighting yep. equipment there, has arrived. Here. But the tow truck itself, it does have compressed gas in there, so we have to be real careful about explosions happening on that. Is as that compressed well as this gas fire that spreads. compressed gas for the for the the towing crane portion of it, or? Right, as part of the lifting mechanism, okay. you have some compressed gas. Plus, you know, they carry gas, uh, compressed gas to help motorists with flat tires and such. Oh, okay. And then you've got, of course, gasoline on board in the fuel tank as well. And then there is that. Yeah, and we just saw the uh, fire units pull up, and it's not going to be long before they try to knock this down as quickly as they can. It, it, but at, at the same time, uh, you have to think that they're going to be fairly cautious with this for the exact reasons that we were just talking about, the threat yeah. of explosion. Uh, so, yeah, you can see that there. A lot of times when you see uh, fire crews pull up, they're right there at the scene. They've, they've taken a safe distance in front of the actual fire. Well, they've got a little buffer zone there, buffer exactly, zone. in case something flies out from an explosion. I hadn't even thought about the compressed gas that uh, Dave was talking about on board that truck. Which could possibly, if you think about it, be a concern for the cars driving by. It could. I mean, it, I, if, if that were me driving by, I would certainly get by think quickly. twice. You, you wouldn't know it until you were right on top of it, so you just try to get past it. Yeah, and it looks like they've got a, at least one hose out there. There's uh, one firefighter, and uh, there comes another, but they've got the hose ready to go, and they'll unleash that and hopefully get this thing knocked out pretty quickly. But, of course, safe to say the... The, the evening commute now for a lot of folks who are heading northbound on I-5, it's going to be a bit of a slowdown. At least there is a lane open, so traffic can squeak through. And as Dave showed us, actually affecting both directions because yep. folks heading in the southbound direction are curious about what's causing all that smoke and uh, slowing down to take a look. So, yep, now we're seeing the lighter steam coming up. and uh, I think that's about it. Yep. Yeah, the uh, knocking the fire down and be interesting to find out how that all started. Uh, so, Dave, before we leave you, you said that the, the 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 rig was pulled over and the car caught fire. By the time we saw this, it was fully engulfed. Like yeah. I said, our, our, initially we we looked at it from about eight miles away. So, in the haze of the day, real difficult to see what it was until we got on top of it. But you know, it is possible the front of the car was dragging, creating sparks. Might have lit this off. All speculation, of course, and I don't want to speculate on exactly what caused this, but it looks like the firefighters are getting that foamed up and knocked right down for us. Dave, isn't it incredible for the size of that fire how quickly they're able to knock that out? It is a lot of pressure in those hoses. You, you know, you can cool that fire down, take a little bit of oxygen away from it as you knock the water over it, and they get ahead of it just that quick. Yeah, because that is 180 degrees different from what it looked like just two minutes ago. That is spectacular, seeing so. how, how, just what quick work they're able to make of it. All right, we're going to leave it there. We can tell that the situation is firmly under control at this point. Still an impact on traffic, again, both northbound and southbound lanes of I-5 near Meadowview. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.